What is it guys, Nimrod here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 18 career mode. And in today's episode it is the first ever Europa League game. So yeah, very exciting and it is a brilliant episode. I think we've got both games from for um both legs for the Lazio game. Um Lazio have such a nice stadium, seriously, that is like one of my favourite stadiums. I don't like their kit that much because their kits are pretty much the same thing. I mean, it's light blue, light blue and white, and then dark blue. <laughs> Not really big um, difference, but um, anyway, this is going to be such a good game, trust me. Lazio have a great team, um, so do we, um, very attacking. And, you know, we've got a high-pressure system now. Um, playing the 4-2-4 and yeah Lazio have a very attacking team so um, yeah we got we got a full out all out um, strength team Barkley is obviously out so Loftus-Cheek um, still playing and he has been performing well Loftus-Cheek recently and um, yeah sadly we can't be playing in Champions League that was really upsetting when we got ruined by Barcelona 5-0 and um EA screwed us over in a 2-2 two, two draw, was it? Um, so, yeah. But anyway, Abraham gets a really good chance here as he um, has a shot because um, if you just shoot with him, it will probably go in um, and Keita goes to the bicycle kick, which is um, which would be hands-down best goal I've ever scored if I ever do score one. But um, Leno makes an easy save there and um, clears the ball away, but Mohamed Salah gets the ball, he runs down the right hand side, crosses it in, and Abraham, what did I say, every touch now, every, you might as well shoot with him, because he will probably score, and that is, there is no exception in the Europa League for that rule, he's smashing it in the Premier League, FA Cup, he's um, destroying teams, but yes, I don't think he's actually played an FA Cup game, um, and yeah, I was wondering, would he be good in Europe? Well, that's your question. Brilliant header, brilliant cross from Mohamed Salah, and yeah, one nil um, already as well. Um, and we've got an away goal, so it's all good. Um, 24th minute, first goal in the Europa League, and um, yeah, we are proving that we shouldn't be playing in this tournament. Um, but that's he actually had a pretty decent um, chance there, good for a kick, but we just clear it away and it falls to Mohamed Salah who gets it to Chaplin, who gets it back to Mohamed Salah who cuts inside, cuts inside and what a goal that is from Mohamed Salah. Take a bow some because that goal, oh beautiful. Mohamed Salah, well it gets kicked by Leno and um, Chaplin couldn't win the header but it fell to Mohamed Salah who, you know, played a nice ball 1-2 um, with Chaplin and then just became Messi, the Egyptian Messi, and well, just run past everyone and then shot with his left foot. His left foot of dreams, he has got a brilliant left foot on him, and yeah, finishes it brilliantly. And it is 2 0 inside the first half, so yeah, already beaten Lazio, and we've already got two goals, um, two away goals. And yeah, 31st minute, um, Mohamed Tyler scores a brilliant goal. But um, Latia have a really good chance here, and it falls to, um, I don't know who that player was, uh, I don't know what his name is, um, but he misses a really good chance there, and it is actually, that was the actual last chance of the half, so half time and the score was um, 1, no, 2-0 um, to Brighton, and um, yeah, I really like Latia's um Stadium. I know they share it with Roma, so if I do move to Lazio, that'll be a very good rivalry, or like Milan or someone like that, um, or Inter. Like that'll be just such a cool rivalry, and I love the stadiums in um, Syria. I, I do actually really like the Syria stadiums there, so um, and the fans as well, so passionate. But anyway, Abraham plays a really nice one-two with Chaplin. He plays it to um, Niang, and well, what a goal that is! One of the best counter-attacking goals I've scored this year. Um, scores a brilliant goal and does the timber celebration. I keep doing that. I just press random buttons when I am celebrating. It always falls to the timber celebration, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, look at this beautiful one-two from Connor Chaplin and Abraham. And then one touch from Niang and f smashes it into the roof of the net. 
brilliant goal um, goes top right corner and yeah um, Niang I was talking about it he hasn't been incredible this season only getting four goals in the Prem but um, obviously a lot of assists but um, yeah Niang um, obviously showing what he does best um, with his pace um, for the counter attacks, and we do have such a good counter attacking squad here, so I'm real. But um, it falls from um, Chamberlain who crosses it in on his um, left foot, and Niang heads it. Um, and the good thing about Niang is he's not small like Abraham, they're not small, they're pretty tall. But um, yeah, anyway, full time, and the score was 3 0. So, yeah, three away goals. I would be surprised if Lazio even come back to that. That is such a good, it was such a good game. We did so well. And yeah, we smashed Lazio 3-0. They had no chance. And they don't really have a chance in the second leg. Trust me, we are so good right now. We are in really good form. But um, here's um, the FA Cup. And we play our second team, the B team FA Cup. We've never actually won this tournament. But we do get through and we actually have a very good chance now. Of winning the FA Cup as well. And here's the second leg of Lazio um, v Brighton. And yeah, it was going to be an easy game because Lazio just aren't a very good side right now. Um, and yeah, again, have you seen those kits? <laughs> They're not much different, let's just say that, um, which is really annoying. And that's one of the things I really like about um, what I did with this series. I've made it pretty unique because of doing that, like, like showing all the kits. I don't know why, it just makes me. It makes me seem more unique to other career modes. I don't know. Um, and this career mode has been so good. It, it it lines up so brilliantly. Seriously, like I was talking about it once, and it's been it's lined up so brilliantly. But we do play a second team, not a very good team. Play with a few good players like Abraham, but Benedetti. You see um, the Pillars region. Um, you see other players as well playing you know it's not going to be <laughs> i wouldn't say it's going to be the greatest team um the greatest um team um we were going to defend straight away but um yeah Lazio obviously going to go all out um and like better than they should be anyway if they like i was going to think are they going to play that defensive like they did at home because they did play awful at home like genuinely they did not play well and they got a very attacking team so i don't know why they won't but um anyway lazio go for tony Pula style we get the ball though and um davies plays the ball to lee who um passed it into davies who has a good chance to pass it into cook and well he should have finished that shouldn't he um four minutes in but i was fine you know what a start that was already you know putting the pressure on but to get some finds um i don't know what that guy in its name was but he scored and i didn't get to see him so yeah one nil already and they got one away goal but <laughs> Really? <laughs> that wasn't really great defending. So Gertson plays a good um, ball. Uh, really want to see. I'm going to see who that guy um, is. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Jackson probably could have done better. Um, close his legs. Um, but yeah, it wasn't a great finish to be fair. And he, they just opened up our defence so easily. Which I'm not a fan of. Um, now they actually have a chance. All they had to score is two more goals. And yeah. Kokorin, uh, Alexander Kokorin, so he scores against us, which is, was surprising, and he gets another chance here, Kokorin, um, I'm going to keep saying that now, um, misses an easy chance, and um, here he is, Vitinho, um, a player who I do actually know, and what a finish that is, and well, it's 2-0, and it was only... Uh, like I was so confident for this game, you have no idea. They literally Lazio, this wasn't the same Lazio. This was a different Lazio to the team that we faced. Um it was so poor, so poor. And now Vitinho actually scores there, so um Yeah, that's surprising, wasn't it? <laughs> um I did not expect that and well, yeah, we needed to defend better, much better, um, because they were actually going to play very well, and um, they had a very good chance now um, to get from 3-2 to 3-3, to, um, um, to three, three, um, and draw with us, and take us into extra time, and maybe penalties, and I'm not very good at penalties, trust me, I'm not, <laughs> um, I... Crumble under the pressure under the pressure for penalties. Um, so um, yeah, Cochrane though gets the ball 
Um, and how's a shot on Jackson? Actually, um, makes a good save there. Um, oh, brilliant drill. Drilling. Uh, <laughs> drilling outside my house. Brilliant. Um, anyway, so Gerson crosses it in, and they have a really good chance. Wallace um, heads it, and it um, goes wide of the post, but Fatinia has a really good chance as well. And we were getting... There was so much pressure on us right now, because we didn't want to concede. No, why would we want to concede? And literally, as Tor gets the ball, plays it to Cochrane, who plays it to um, um, back, uh, plays a brilliant one-two, and uh, literally, I think that's the Gertsen one-two to Cochrane, and this guy was smashing it. He was brilliant that game. I was actually Sergio, um, but a brilliant one-two, and look at that finish and. Jesus Christ, Lazio, we were under the pressure. I was like, I don't want to concede. I don't want to die. Like, I don't want to concede. We we're going to go out if we do. And literally, we were like PSG against Barcelona, having a 3-0 um, advantage and going ultra-defensive from the first whistle and allowing pressure. And that's just not what you do. It was poor tactics for me. Davies had an awful game. He had such a bad game, it's unreal. And the game finishes and it goes into extra time. So you know how confident I was after the first. Like, I was like, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. They were play they genuinely played so bad in the first leg and then played and then we played awful in the second leg. So yeah, we had to go attacking from the off. And Salah gets the ball, plays it to Tammy Abraham, but it's a really good save in them. Um also, Chamberlain slides, but he misses the ball. Dunk heads it, and it gets cleared away. And here's a really good chance for Lazio. It's crossed in, and Sikertz and scores. 4-3. What a comeback that is. Incredible, incredible scenes against Lazio. And literally, I don't even think Lazio could celebrate that much. They were so tired. They played incredible football this game and did exactly what they needed to. And Jackson conceding four goals. Not my favourite, really. That was Pickford in disguise, maybe. And literally, oh my word, mate. I could not take it. Four. Four, three. We were going out at this point. 4-3. Four, four, four away goals. We were 3 no up and now it's 4-3. This is awful. And we... It's half time in extra time. But I said to the lads, we have to attack now. We have to do what we have to do. And this is awful, guys. I've never seen you play like this. And from the off, well, lost his cheek, concedes, um, loses the ball. But he gets the ball back and plays the ball to Tammy Abraham. And for some reason, there was a gap in the middle. And Tammy Abraham gets the goal. And 4-1. So we still needed to get a goal. Get, um, don't get me wrong. This is possibly the most action-packed game we will, you will see in this series. We still had to get a goal. Um, as it is 4-4 on aggregate. We still had to get a goal as we um, um, were... Um, losing by four away goals um we still have to get a goal and um well i just went ultra um all out attack straight away and from this um from this kickoff well they just kept surrendering possession lazio they were passing it around and this wasn't this was the lazio from the um first leg or this was the brighton from the first leg it, i don't really know but um yeah lazio had a really good chance um had a really good chance um, to um, stay in this 4-4 four, four, um, four away goals, but they lose possession. Salah crosses it in. It falls to Tammy Abraham, and oh my word, from kickoff again, Tammy Abraham makes it 4-2, makes it 5-4. The captain, I made him the captain of the day because I thought he deserved it. And it wasn't a captain's performance in the first 90, but the first, um, the last 30 um, in extra time, he scores a header. And oh my word, Lazio, what were you doing? They conceded possession again, and we score again. Salah, you don't beat Salah with the pace. You don't beat Abraham in the air unless you are six foot three or above. And literally, oh, 
It was brilliant. I could not believe I was jumping around my room. I was like, get in there, come on. Seven minutes left, though. Um, again, from goal kick, from the kickoff, there is a chance. And this is when Lazio went all out attack. Seriously, you see um, only two defenders back. And Loftus Sheik intercepts, plays it to Tammy Abraham to get his hat trick. And oh my word, it's 6 4. 6 4, and this is possibly the best game you will ever see in this series. He gets his hat trick, he gets what he wanted, he get, we get the win, we get the win. So, three kickoffs, three kickoffs that Lazio had, they surrender possession. And we and Tammy Abraham punish, and so did Loftus Cheek getting two assists. I think, um, yeah, Loftus Cheek got two assists, um, intercepting. And you have no idea how bad Davies was in this game. Tom Davies was atrocious this game, and Loftus Cheek intercepts and gets the ball to Tammy Abraham, and it is full time so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this episode then please you leave a like follow my twitter and underscore 742 subscribe whilst you're at, um leaving the like i don't know why i do it in that order have an awesome day guys and um yeah love you all and goodbye what a game game of the season maybe